Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our CMCMN, that is the Church Ministers Children and Ministers Networking Telecast. It is brought to you every Saturday where we invite the Church Ministers Children and also invite the ministers to come and share with us on what God is doing in their lives. And uh, we are blessed uh, to have the servant of God who has, who is actually um, with me in the Finishing Well Foundation. And uh, we thank God that um, we, we, uh, he has been a, a very instrumental in making sure that the Finishing Well Foundation where our our Patrick, that is um, Bishop uh, William Tumisin, together with Mom, uh, Dr. Rebecca Tumisin, are uh, the leaders. And uh, we are here to thank God for what he has been doing and especially in giving us an opportunity to launch the Finishing Well Foundation. And uh, it's, my, it's going to be be a great opportunity also if you're a minister wherever you are to become a partner and also join so that you can be you can be helped in finishing well because you can start and actually not finish well we need to finish our journey well that is our journey in the ministry in serving the Lord and now I would want us um, to get into a wonderful moment of worship and I know God is going to bless you as you hear what God has in store for us. And before we get into that moment of worship, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this wonderful moment so that we can hear your word. And we thank you even for giving us a guest who is ready to guide us and even to mentor us into that great wonderful moment where we can hear what God you have in store for us. We pray that King of Glory, as you continue as ministers, even to wait upon you in leading us into the finish well foundation that each and every minister is going to finish well and do that which you've called us to do and one of the things father you require of us is to ignite revival as the message for today that we have to ignite revival in every place we are in our cities in our regions in our districts in our counties in our countries in our continents all over the world around the globe we are expected to ignite the revival now this moment let's hear the worship team welcome worship Thank you, thank you, our worship team, for giving us yet another wonderful moment, even to get involved and participate in worship. At this time, I would want us to get also a great opportunity even to hear some of the things that I have been doing in the ministry. And as you listen, I believe God is going to bless you. And the first one is the silent cry of a pastor's child. That silent cry. Every minister needs to know about it. I've heard it, I've cried about it, and every minister, and I'm the way I am, and being able even to become an author, because my spiritual father is an author. Praise the Lord. And tomorrow, praise the Lord, I'm telling you when you are connected with this servant of God, can you imagine tomorrow I'm having a pastor's meeting and when I invited it, I didn't want to have a big meeting. And 200 have registered. 
they are coming in tomorrow from 9 o'clock to, to about uh, 1 o'clock. Praise the Lord. So if you have not registered in Nigeria, we can't allow you because you already have a house full. And this is because I have a spiritual father who is caring and who has an anointing that when you are impacted with that anointing, your life will never be the same. You will be doing great things that you never imagined. Receive greetings from my family in the U.S. Praise the Lord. And welcome to our ministry. Even if we don't have a seat for you tomorrow, our ministry is open for you. You can come and you can also log into our website so that you can learn more about this ministry. That is www.agracem.org. Again, www.agracem.org. God bless you and be blessed as you continue to move on in the Finishing Well Foundation and so that you can also finish well. God bless you. And uh, at this time, I also invite each one of you, if you have not read my book, I continue even to invite you to, um, to get a copy of the, the Silent Cry of a Pastor's Child. And also purchase online, that is on in Amazon, you can get our our uh, passing on the baton which is the heritage of our minister's child you can get that one on amazon and god is going to bless you and so at this time it is my joy to welcome the servant of god to come and share with us on how we are going to ignite a revival that is going to usher us into the finishing well so that we can finish well and finish victoriously and powerfully for the glory of God. Welcome a servant of God, Bishop John Caberere. This could be ashes of sin, compromise, business, because you may be doing very well, and you have an organization, but sometimes you have kept God aside. What I want to tell us is when we begin with God, we must also continue with God. Amen. 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 So don't allow accumulated ashes kill your passion for God. I'm trying to shorten it because of time. Number two, to keep the fire burning, you must be mighty in the word. Amen. 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 You must be mighty in the word. Luke said in Acts chapter 20 and verse 32 Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. The word of God when we, have, when we read the word of God when we hear the word of God when we meditate on the word of God, we will, that word will build us, will make us. Because that when, when the Bible says, I have hid thy word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Amen. So by the grace of God, let's take the word of God every day and keep it in our hearts. Wherever we are, either it is the organization, or maybe in the church, or where, wherever we are, when the word of God is in our lives, God will work for us. Hallelujah. Amen. So remember this centurion man in Matthew chapter, verse, chapter 8, verse 8. This great man had faith in God. His servant was sick. But he said, Jesus, just speak a word, and my servant will be made whole. And as soon as Jesus spoke the word, immediately his servant was healed. I am here to tell you, the word we are talking today, we can speak by faith. You may be having a business that is going down, but by faith I speak in the name of Jesus, that that business will start to thrive in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be here and probably you are sick. This word is able to heal you. Amen. And therefore, I speak a word of faith. I speak the word of God. 
And I decree if there is anyone who is sick tonight, in the name of Jesus, may it be a moment uh, that you are going to have an encounter with God and make you whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. This word of God, sometimes emotionally we are down. We are discouraged, disappointed because of so many things that are going around the world. But I speak this word of God upon your lives, our lives, that it is, it, it is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So may the Lord release comfort and hope in your life. Amen. So let us eat the word. Mm. Let us live the word. Yes. Let us walk the word. Mm. Let us talk the word. Yes. And let us spread the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three. To keep the fire burning, you must be mighty in prayer. Amen. Be mighty in prayer. Number one, you have to remove the accumulated ashes in your life. Secondly, you must be mighty in the word of God. And thirdly, you must be mighty in prayer. Prayer is a key that gives you power and authority to go beyond your limitation. Amen. I speak again. Yeah. That prayer is a key Amen. that gives you power and authority Amen. to go beyond your limitations. Yes. If you have limitation in any area, mm. you can cry unto the Lord. And God Almighty is able to bring to break those limitations in Jesus' name. Amen. And therefore, by the grace of God, finishing well is going far. Amen. And when we pray by the grace of God, Amen. any limitation is broken. Amen. Any powers of hell Amen. through the word of God, we will prevail and go far. And I thank God by the grace of God for our papa, mm. Bishop Dr. I, uh, Dr. Twimisi, mm. together with his wife. Thank you. Mm. You have been a great man in this city, in, in Kenya, yeah. and beyond even Kenya. Mm. Is a, you, you know, you, it's, we, it, you are a person that we can emulate mm. the church currently in Kenya. Speak of any man here in Kenya mm. who has authority and is highly respected because of integrity. Number one is Bishop Tunisi. And I say that with the confidence. Mm. And that is why, by the grace of God, even men of God, mm. when they want to be ordained, they grant to him because they know he is a man of integrity yes. and he is a man who has a strong family. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And the secret is he's a man of prayer. Amen. He's a man of what? Amen. The word of God. So be mighty in prayer. Mm. You remember, the Bible says, Acts chapter 12, the Bible says, that when Peter was put in prison, the church prayed. Mm. And because of prayer, mm. hallelujah, Amen. though he was sleeping, the Bible says that God sent his angels. Mm. And he came out of the prison. Mm. And I thank God that we had the first automatic doors. You know nowadays we go through automatic doors. When you just go near, near the door, it is open. Yeah. It started in, in Acts, chapter, Acts chapter 12. Yeah. So as soon as they, they saw Peter, yeah. it sprang open. Amen. Peter went. Wow. Then it closed. The in the morning they were looking, where is Peter? Where is Peter? Yeah, they realized there is God in heaven. Yeah. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah. As we pray and seek God, God will open doors people did not expect. Amen. God will open doors that you did not expect. Amen. Because Peter was not expecting that door to be opened. But by the grace of God, God opened that door. I thank God for those who have come out of the country. We hire it by our, especially our partners. We are so grateful. We honor you. 
and you see the doors have been opened here in Kenya, and we thank God that even the finishing well doors are open. And we are here to tell you that we love you. And when we come together through prayer, we will go far. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you also, the, as they finish, also prayer opened heaven over your life. You remember when Jesus Christ was being baptized? The Bible says when he was being baptized, he started praying. And when he started praying, the Bible says uh, that heaven opened. Why? Because he prayed. The Father spoke and the Holy Spirit uh, came down. So in the midst of busy schedule, set time when you can have an intimate fellowship with God. Amen. Amen. Number four, my last one is number five, to keep the fire burning, be mighty in giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be mighty in what? Amen. Be mighty in giving. Amen. Giving is a key that unlock your divine supply Amen. and keep you to keep the fire burning. Amen. You remember the woman of Zarephath? Yeah. She gave her last supper. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To Elijah, the servant of God. And because she trusted God, had given open doors for divine supply. Amen. She never lacked. Amen. The Shunammite woman recognized that Elisha was a servant of God. She opened a door of divine supply of having what she had never had. She never had a baby. But within a very short time, she got a baby. Yeah. Assisting the poor, in fact, we are making ways for ourselves. Those who are supporting finishing well, those who are supporting other places here and there, may the Lord bless you. Because when the Shunammite woman, her child died, the Bible says she went to the room where she had prepared. Hallelujah. Amen. And kept her bad boy in that bed. And when Elisha came, prayed for the boy and resurrected. If she hadn't prepared that bed, there would have no miracle no, would not have taken place. So there are miracles that are going to take place in your lives. There are miracles that are taking place in your lives. You may not, it is not about money. Because some of us have money. But your children will be blessed to go to levels that they have never, they have never gone. God will keep you from sicknesses. Why? Because you are supporting the work of God. You are supporting the needy. You are supporting the society. You realize there are areas and challenges you will not go through because of your faithfulness. Hallelujah. The church in Macedonia supported Paul and his ministry. And Paul spoke a prophetic word. Hallelujah. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. May, it ha may that happen to your life. You have planted. You have supported children. You have supported widows. You have supported the needy. May my God, who sees in secret, bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the act of giving provokes God. Just like Dorcas, uh, she served and did all what she could, but she resurrected because of that. So be a kingdom builder, honor God with your resources. Because he says in, um, he says, he who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Be mighty in giving. Finally, as I finish, be mighty in worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why also in the church, we must have the word. We must have time to pray. We must have time to worship God. We must also have time to give. And therefore, by the grace of God, uh, worship God in truth and in the spirit. 
And when we worship, we worship God in truth and the spirit, the fire will continue to, to, to burn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You remember Paul and Cyrus? And it was at night. Yeah. What happened? They worshiped, mm -hmm. praised God, mm -hmm. and have time to pray. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says the foundation of the prison mm -hmm. was shaken. Amen. And when it was shaken, hallelujah, yeah. there are foundation that are shaken because of prayer. They are foundation that are shaken because of worshiping God. Let us be true worshipers. Hallelujah. Who worship God in truth and in spirit to the glory of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop John Cabrera, for that powerful and glorious word. Uh, it is powerful. We thank God for what God has used you to do. We are praying that as you continue even to be used of God, great things are going to take place in your life and even in the Finishing World Foundation as we continue also to be ushered in into a new season where each and every minister is going to do well. May the Lord bless you, each one of you. Uh, this is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace, International Ministries and Abundant Glory. International Ministries. This is mother to the amazing champions and also mother to the CMCs around the globe. That is the church ministers, children around the globe. It's a joy to be their mother. I welcome you to be a partner with us, partner with us at www.agracem.org. I also welcome you to be a partaker of these great and wonderful things that God is doing in our ministry as you continue even to do great and mighty things as the Lord continues to usher us into a new season and into a new level. Be blessed for now. I look forward even to hear what God is doing in your life and even to hear in your comments as you also follow us on Facebook that is on CMCMN. We have a page for that in Facebook and you can also follow us and even like and subscribe and comment on our YouTube channel. As ministers, you have the opportunity to become a blessing. That is why I'm inviting each one of you. You make sure you do a great job in whatever God has called you to do, in whatever area God has called you to do, win souls into the kingdom of God. When others are winning one, can you win two? When others are winning three can you win four five six seven and eight and god is gonna bless you as you continue to purpose to do the great work that god has called you to do this is again a wonderful moment and i look forward to be with you in the uh, in this coming week devotions they are going to be great and powerful please share with as many friends as you can shalom shalom shalom